Alrighty, today to my delight we have a nice and easy build in this cute little box courtesy of my mate Kadazzle, courtesy of his mate Godrim, and this is the Tentaku Mechanical Calculator from ANN Laboratory in Japan. So we get all our little hardware pieces which include stabilizers, feet, standoffs and screws. And here's the actual thing, and you can pretty much see how it all goes together with three acrylic pieces and the actual unit. The reason why I was so delighted with building this, besides the whole cool factor, was that there's absolutely minimal soldering needed. Everything is soldered on besides the key switches. Normally for these sort of things you'd expect to have to solder on most of the parts, but we'll get back to that. Here's the acrylic pieces with the base, plate and cover for all the components at the top. Acrylic is especially useful for DIY kits like this, nice and cheap and gets the job done. Having a closer look at the PCB and the components, there's only the standard numpad layout, so completely fixed, and it supports MX style key switches, which you will have to supply yourself as the kit doesn't come with any. Then everything else is up top. Here are the LED display thingos, in which there are two side by side. Quite big things actually, nice and thick. I did a quick Google on these and didn't find them, because I'm hoping they cost a little bit to justify the price. And on the right hand side we have our on and off switch, very basic. And on top is our slot for a AAA battery, so yes, it is a completely independent unit. I never really show this stuff, so I might as well now. Band-Aid mod, just because. Not necessary at all, just gives that extra little bit of softness for the bottom out on the stabilised keys. And these are just fabric band-aids cut up. The included stabs are standard cherry clip-ins. It's actually been quite a while since I've used clip-ins rather than screw-ins and actually clipping the stabs in fact as most modern ones come pre-clipped. And as always, lube your stabs. I went pretty heavy here with some dielectric grease. I was given some Gatoron brown, so a light tactile key switch, and I decided to lube them with Cristo MCG 111, and this is the only part where you actually have to solder, so you will need an iron to do this, but it's super beginner friendly for soldering, two pins for each key switch, and that's it. I did make this way more complicated for myself though, like the absolute novice that I am. These switches were kinda loose on the 1.5mm acrylic plate, so every time I put a new key switch in the plate would go down, so then I decided to put the whole thing together to hold the plate up, and you'll see why that makes completely zero sense, and clearly I didn't read the instructions in which they do have a PDF of and even a build guide video.
And this worked really well for putting in the key switches, but yeah, now you can't solder. And because of that, I decided that actually we needed some clicky switches in here. It's a novelty product and you'll be showing people, so you definitely need a few clickies and I went with kale box whites. In the guide they do say to put the switches into the plate first, which makes complete sense. Being quite flexible though, the switches do easily pop out. Honestly, if you haven't soldered before, give it a go. It's easy as and it's just a really useful skill and tool to have in life. This however is as easy and as basic as it gets, making a really cool DIY gift for beginners. I ended up going with GMK Minimal, thanks again Jono, although I was given SA Miami Knights but I felt something shorter was better suited and because of the translucent black acrylic on top, I think the black and white theme is super classy. And yet another mistake from not reading the instructions, there's a proper direction the black acrylic piece needs to go as it was hitting the keycaps. Before I turned it on, the plate and base were clear and I wasn't liking the look, especially with this black and white aesthetic I have going on. So I took a real gamble here and decided to colour in the sides with a sharpie, including the PCB. So, so cool. The good news is, is that after soldering, literally all you need to do is switch it on and it works. No flashing or configuring or anything. It just works straight away and well that's because it really is just a calculator. It's not programmable, you can't plug it into a computer so it's not a numpad. So yeah, very much more of a novelty thing. Again, a perfect gift for a tinkerer in which this actually was. But I love it, and I think the black acrylic sides do look especially aesthetic. With GMK Minimal on top, it looks super classy, but mixed with a super DIY look with the acrylic and open sides so we can see all the components, it makes for an unexpected match in my opinion. Although the gamble didn't fully pay off as the sharpie does come off a little bit on the fingers. The numbers are nice and bright, really bright actually, which looks perfect under the translucent black acrylic. So actually using it, numlock is the clear button, enter is equals, and then everything else is as labelled. It can handle up to just 6 digits, so we can only input that many, and it can only output that many. So if we do say 500k plus 600k to make 7 digits, it comes up with error. Very very basic, but I'm totally cool with that. I do have a ducky pocket, which is like the legit version. Works independently with a battery, but can also plug into a computer and be used as a numpad. And of course comes in a complete package with switches, keycaps, RGB backlighting, etc etc. But in a weird sort of way, if I came across these in a store, I'd get the Tentaku just because it's cooler, and you get to build it.
I have a mix of lubed gap browns and kale box whites. I lubed both the stabs and the browns pretty heavily so they ended up being pretty quiet which is the opposite to the box whites. And even more so because check out this mad flex. Nice soft bottom out, no need for any other dampening. The kicker though is that it's listed at 5,500 yen online, which is like 50 USD. This was picked up in Japan though, so I don't know how much it was there, but a ducky pocket is like 7 USD, so it is pretty pricey, especially since it is very basic being just a calculator, and adding in key switches and keycaps will increase that. Ignore the fact that I use GMK keycaps on here, which makes it quite the unit. But it is what it is, I really loved how it turned out, it really is very aesthetically pleasing to me with the raw but classy look. It's extremely beginner friendly for soldering work, you just chuck in the switches, solder, turn it on and it's all good. So disregarding the price, this is legitimately one of my favourite builds I've done, ever. So if you're looking for something fun, possibly for someone else, especially for mech people, I think this is awesome. Mm -hmm.